these things unto James and to the brethren, and he departed and went into another place. Now, as soon as it was day, they were no small stir around the soldiers. What was <laughs> Tyra and Sodom. Okay, Tyre and Sodom. But they came with one accord to him. And having made bliss, what, bliss to Sosas? Bless us? Okay. The king's chamber, chamber, their friend desired to eat because their country was by the king's country. Mercy. <laughs> Sister Brown, are you there? You are 21, 12? 21, Sister Brown. I didn't find it. I'm doing it from my iPad. It just messed All right, Sanchez. Oh. All right. Well, I'll go ahead. Praise the Lord. Yeah. All right, so we just finished reading from Acts chapter 12, and we started at uh, verse 11, and I will be picking up at verse 21 and uh, go to 25. And it says, And up on a set day, Herod arrayed in royal apparel, sat up on his throne, and made an oration unto them. And the people gave a shout, saying, It is the voice of a God, and not of a man. And immediately, have mercy, praise the Lord, the angel of the Lord smote him, because he gave not God the glory, and he was eaten mm, with worms and gave up the ghosts. But the word of God grew and multiplied, and Barnabas and Saul returned from Jerusalem when they had fulfilled their, mis mi their ministry and uh, took with them John, whose surname was Mark. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Verse 13, chapter 13, verse 1 says, Now there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets and teachers, as Barabbas and Simon, that were called Niger and Russia of Serene, and Manel, which had been brought up with Herod and the Tetrarch and Saul, as they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost said, "Separate me, Barabbas and Saul, for the work whereunto I have called them." And when they had fasted and prayed and laid their hands on them, they sent them away. So. They being, they being sent forth by the Holy Ghost, departed unto Seleucia, and from their head thence they sailed to Cyprus. And when they were in Salamis, they preached the word of God in the synagogue of the Jews, and they had also John to their minister. Praise ye the Lord. Amen. 
Amen. Right here. Praise the Lord. Yeah, yeah. All right. <clears throat> God, <clears throat> God is wonderful. Yes. And uh, I said that with no redress that he's wonderful because um number one the people of god what were they doing when when uh, peter was in prison <clears throat> what were they doing they were praying they were praying so there's a lot of times when we go through situations we, we get relaxed. It's just like the situation with my girls right now. And, uh, we, ha we must pray. That's why I didn't hide it from you. I let you know. Because I, if, if I don't tell you this, you might not understand. The devil really want to get to me. It, the devil definitely want to get to me. You know, he, he, he tried Michelle. Uh, and he did not break me tried my wife, did not break me. So now he's trying to hit on Tatiana and Tiana. And that's the only way I could see it. Because they have both of their names in, 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 uh, on this lawsuit. But I want to let you know, just like how Herod wanted the people to call him God, do you all see that? Yeah. People shouting and saying, Oh, Herod is God, and and a matter of fact, let me ask you: Is this the same Herod uh, that um, that was around that tried to kill all the babies? Yes. Huh? Uh, you're not sure, but this is Herod the Tetrarch, that Herod who tried to kill the babies, but he was long gone. All right? Yeah. But this is Herod the Tetrarch. That's the one who was ruling at this time. And uh, I want to let you know that while he was there taking all the praise, taking all the praise, have mercy. All right, taking all the praise. What happened? Huh? Don't, don't. Play with God's people. Amen. Do not. Do not. And even when it seems as if we are losing the battle, God will give you time. God will give people time to go ahead and do what they want to do. But the retribution is eminent because God have already won the battle. And here we find where Herod was persecuting the church, was trying to stop God's word from going. And even if we don't see that today, Right now, where we live, it is going on. Where people do not want the church, at least the true church of God, to continue. The one that preaches what God wants people to learn. The one that teaches what God wants to learn. Wants us to learn and obey they will fight it but i'm letting you know that when peter knocked on the door hallelujah did the people who were praying believe it was peter no no they did not no they did not believe it was peter and maybe if you were there and I was there, you understand me? I wouldn't believe it was Peter either. Because you know how, as a matter of fact, we talk about the quadrant. 
and it was four quadrants of soldiers, which is 16 soldiers working around the clock. And at all times, two of the soldiers were chained to Peter, one on the right hand and one on the left. And you want to let me know that Peter got out of prison and the soldiers that was chained to him, because it says, it says that um, when the angel went into the, the, the prison, when the angel went into the prison, what happened to the chains? They all fell off. They didn't break off. They fell off. So I'm just letting you know that when we go through, when we go through, God has a way to work it out that the chains will fall off. Yes. Praise the Lord. And I'm letting you know that um, Barnabas and Paul, they returned from their mission. All right? They returned from their mission and heard what went on. I'm sure that they said, what? What happened to Herod? Uh, as powerful as he is, what happened to him? He was eaten by what? Worms. Don't play with God's people or else you will be eaten by what? By worms. Yes, and then eventually you will be burnt up. You'll be burnt up. Have mercy. In the fire and brimstone, according to Revelation 20. Praise the Lord. Let us hold on to Christ. Let us serve Christ. Because in the long run, it might not look like we are winning now. But we are on the winning side. And eventually, we will win. Praise the Lord. All right. God is good. Um, Sister Brown, at least you're ready for your song.